up guys welcome back to the channel i'm going to show you how to set up your far driver controller for your ec4p motor i know uh, enc says they don't recommend using it but you totally can so first things first once your throttle is hooked up and wired you're gonna go over to the bluetooth settings once the app is downloaded click scan and you are going to see this uon q that is your Bluetooth adapter. Go ahead and click it, and then in the top right corner, click connect, get a few seconds, and then it's gonna say connected okay. Then from there, you can go ahead and jump into your parameters. And we are gonna plug in some settings here before we jump into the auto launcher feature where um, I'm gonna have uh, EMX Brandon take it away for you guys. We're definitely just gonna plug in a few parameters, gonna explain a couple of things, and we'll go from there. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is click expert at the bottom. That way you can get the full detail list of what to plug in. So here with the parameters, you're going to see this phase offset setting. That's gonna determine how your bike feels on throttle. So if your bike is like chugging and feeling chunky, go ahead and adjust that number by like 10 up and down. If you go too far, it can make your bike really slow and chug really hard or if you do it the opposite way you might get some good ramping but you might have that failing at the top so you just got to find a balance i highly suggest just playing with that number by like 10 go up a couple go down a couple until the bike feels correct also quick tip the temp sensor i just played around with them just to see which one is going to read correctly and uh temp sensor one seems to be the most accurate for me um, that is your RPM settings there. Nothing fancy about it, just straight to the point. And uh, yeah, it just all works really well. Um, you just wanna make sure you have your RPM all the way up because this motor likes to rev, as well as your ratios and gear. If you have a speed switch, that's gonna be your one and three settings or one and two settings. I just have mine all maxed out just to make sure um, I have all my speed on throttle because I'm not using a speed switch. Now we're gonna move down to energy regenerate. That is your regen settings. Um, I just have my battery rated capacity at what my battery holds. Not using it, so I don't need it. But um, if you want to, down here in the functions, you can change the follow setting and that is going to uh, determine how you use your regen. So you could do it with a brake or when you release the throttle. Very simple stuff. Um, and that's pretty much it. You're not going to mess with anything else really. This is your display settings. I just plugged in my back wheel. I, I don't have a display. It's kind of pointless. If you're running less than 72 volt, you're going to go and change your low voltage protection. And that's how you do it right there. Uh, as far as the PRD parameters go, uh, AN is good for mid drive, so you're going to put that around 16. The star KPI for mid and the high, that's going to determine your throttle curve. So if you shorten those numbers, you're going to be more torquey. And if you lengthen the numbers, then you're going to have more torque across the power band. So that is how you can ramp in for wheelies and stuff like that. Um, I'm just st stretching mine out, that way I can have more torque in the top end and it never feels like the bike is kind of dying off from there uh and that's pretty much it for the pid settings so you're just going to want them just about the 4 6 10 or 4 8 12. um as far as product down here we're not going to change anything with that as well this is once again just everything that's plugged in from the auto learn i know there are some field weakening settings that can be adjusted I haven't learned those yet fully so once I get there definitely I'll you know fill you guys in with that but once I understand it more we'll make a whole video on that because that's a whole nother subject with the bike and then with the the last thing here on the bottom uh, that's just plugged in from the auto learn and with the auto learn let's go ahead and take it to EMX Brandon and auto learn this is what you'll hear one, two, three, one, two, three. So now you are officially in auto learn. So what you wanna do, uh, make sure you hold the motor down. I'm gonna kinda lightly do it. 
you're gonna hold the throttle down wide open. So we are full throttle right now. We're gonna let it ramp up. It slows down, goes into reverse. Wait for it. Got the beep beep. Let go of the throttle. And we are finished with our auto learn. Now it should say system okay down at the bottom here. Hopefully you guys can see that. System okay. And this is basically set up now. Well, I hope that helps you guys out in understanding how to hook up your EC4P to your bar driver controller. Once again, I'm still learning, but we're going to take this journey together. This is to get you up and running. And with that, guys, I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.